Hello everybody and welcome to another pickup video. Uh, if my voice sounds a little bit weird it's because uh, my allergies have been acting up bad and my nose is plugged. Um, so let's get into this real quick before I start coughing and sneezing. Uh, first one is a movie. It's Dreams and the Witch House from the Masters of Horror series. Um, want to get all these on uh, DVD. Uh, I believe that's the only way they were put out. There was a couple of them put out on Blu-ray but they're hard to find so I figure I'll get them on DVD uh, this one's put out by produced by Stuart jo Jordan uh, that's the only movie I had this week I do have a pop figure well a vinyl collectible and that is from to the Marvel series Thor I paid three dollars for him so I figured that's a good price for that uh, Walmart's been doing some weird sales on Amiibos so I figured for $5 it would be a good time to pick him up and that's Ryu from Street Fighters but he's in Super Smash Brothers Brawl Wii U sorry and my girlfriend picked this one up it was in her area at the Dollarama uh, before I got back down there so I told her to pick it up because I didn't have it in my Disney Infinite series I am missing 30 some Disney Infinite figures so I'm happy to have this one finally and that's Zeb so probably my goal by the end of next year will be to probably have them all. Uh, moving on to the games. First of all, I'm going to show my handheld games I got. First one is Vampire Legends, Power of Tree. The Adventure Begins at Dusk. I know nothing about this, but this is free off of Amazon. Uh, PQ2, Practical Intelligence, Quantel 2 missing the first one. Uh, this one was also free off of Amazon. Uh, these games here I did pick up at a pawn shop. There's not many PS Vita games anymore so I try to pay under $20 for them uh, when I can get them. The first one is Sword Art Online Lost Song. Paid 16 for that one. Looks like a fun little action RPG. Next one is Grand Kingdom. Paid 21 for that one and this one here uh, comes in a bigger box with a bonus edition soundtrack CD included and it's fighting climax X pay 12 for that one I think for a uh, bonus feature one you would pay more pawn shop but it's whatever price they put them up as uh, another game to add to my PlayStation 2 collection that I didn't have was swing away golf uh, I paid nothing for this this came through swagbox free off of my Amazon Another free game I got was Rock and Roll Adventures. For the uh, Wii, looks like a little fun little platformer. Um, never looked up any reviews of this or anything, just going off of what I see. Uh, next one is a Wii U game. It's one of the last Wii U games to be produced. So I was happy to get it. Uh, get it. My girlfriend picked me up this one. It's Darksiders War Master Edition for the Wii U. Um, very happy to get this in my collection. I do have both Darksiders game though on the Wii U. So I did complete that one recently. Um, it was just a sit down and play game and I, that's what I did. Uh, next one I got on the Wii U is Shovel Knight. I didn't have this on the Wii U. have it on the PS4 and then Nintendo 3DS. Um, if I had the Amiibo I would be happy to play the bonus levels I think you get with it. Fun little platformer game. Uh, if you haven't picked this up yet, I would pick it up. It says thirty dollars on there, but at Walmart they're twenty dollars at the moment, and I believe they're cheaper than that because Walmart's trying to get rid of all their Wii U games that are not Nintendo based. Uh, next is P four PS4 game. Uh, first one is Killing Floor Two. I know this was put out recently on uh, PlayStation Plus for free, but I don't like downloading copies. I write our physical copies of my games, so for $20 I figure it would be a good game to pick up. Uh, next one I picked up for free off of my Amazon, using my Swagbucks points, and that's the last Tinker, uh, City of Color. Looks like a little fun little platformer, and this company here have been trying to get all their games that have been coming out, because to me, I don't know, they, I, think, I think they're better to limit runs at the moment, because the games are cheaper, and... They don't put as many out as the time. Uh, I had to give up on limited runs, so uh, 
Next one, it looks like a little fun little wizard game, and it's Lumo, or Lumi, Lu, Lumo, however you want to pronounce it. Looks like a fun little game. Uh, look up some reviews before I bought this. Paid twelve dollars for it, and I was happy to pay that. Um, so yeah, uh, don't go by the price on the top. And this one here, I wanted since I seen a couple of my friends pick it up on YouTube, and the minute I seen it, I wanted it right away, and it was produced by that same company, <laughs> and that's uh, Among the Sleep. Also, I seen James and Mike play this on. Teams on like Mondays, so like I said, the minute I seen it, I had to pick it up. Great game to add into the collection, I find. Uh, that's my pickups for this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Chase Mad Gamer, and that's it. Uh, I will be making videos weekly again because I am back right at the moment. So yeah, take her easy and keep gaming.